Welcome back to Wall Today, where Wall Today is Math Shop, a 1986 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. From Scholastic, it's Math Shop. Uh, we've already looked at uh, Math Shop Junior and Advanced Math Shop here on Wall Today, but now we're looking at the originator, Math Shop. First game in the series. And this one was just designed and programmed by Kerry Hammer with contributing designer Alice Wyman. So I guess they staffed up for later uh, releases. Realized they could make it into a franchise. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to execute this clip, so I will see you on the other side. All right, here we are on side B of Math Shop. I'm going to press return. Get right into the Math Shop. Let's see what shops we got today. We got the pharmacy, we got repairs, we got number, lumber, health, jewelry, donuts, boutique, dairy, and grocery. Uh, we can open one shop at a time or all shops. Let's do all shops. Let's check it out. Uh, I, I looked at that on Advanced Math Shop the other day. Uh, we have also looking at, looked at uh, Algebra Shop, which is the exact same as Advanced Math Shop, but for schools. Let's go right into the boutique. Boutique, boutique. However you want to pronounce it. Let's see what they're selling. Oh, shirts. This looks like a game uh, where we make change. This is either... Nanny's Bargain Boutique or Manny's Bargain Boutique? Um, some, some of these Apple fonts I can't tell. Uh, I'm going to give them five cents change on the dollar there with one nickel. I could do five pennies, but I think you gotta, you got to try to minimize it. Uh, let's do two dimes and one penny. Uh, let's do... Two dimes, one nickel, one penny. That's the correct amount of change. But try using quarters instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do have to minimize. Okay. Uh, although it doesn't actually it doesn't actually penalize me. Oh, it it. Oh, okay, it does. So I, I actually have to change it. Is that right? It's gonna make me change it. The customer thanks you. Okay. Uh, we're going to do two quarters. Uh, we're going to do... Two no, uh, one dime. <laughs> 21 dimes, no, one. While you've been in the store, three new customers have come in. Yeah, one. And then one, then one. Using the customer. From now on, you'll be handing, handling bigger bills. I'm going to escape out now that we've prestiged. We've only got three customers waiting, so we, we, pro we probably should uh, prioritize the other stores. Let's see. Uh, we just have to hope that the pharmacy doesn't get overloaded. But I think it can take way more customers than that, so let's go right into the dairy and see what we got going on. I'm sure this will be a perfectly normal store for the first time ever. This lady just wants some eggs. She wants a precise number of eggs, and we've only got eggs in these amounts. That's what I'm going to guess. And we got to say yes-no here at the Eggland Dairy. I'm going to skip the instructions on a lot of these now, because I think we get the idea. We've gotten the general concept from playing so much Math Shop. we got we got 10 eggs to them. Um, Let's see. Uh, they want 15 eggs, so I'm going to say yes. 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 That's 15 eggs. Uh, I thought I was going to say 16 eggs. I was like, wait, what? Uh, but they, they want six eggs, so we're going to do four and two. They want 13 eggs. Let's give them 13 eggs. Uh, 14 eggs. We can do that, too. We can accommodate all your egg requests. Uh... More customers are coming. Yeah, so that's the interrupt that I was talking about the other day. Let's see here. We got one customer waiting. They want 26 eggs. Uh, can we go? Okay. Yes. Just a 24. And then we're going to do two more. Get them all the way to 26. We'll have zero customers waiting. We served all the customers in line. We've cleared out the dairy. Let's move on. Let's check out the grocery.
I'm excited to check out the number store later on. We'll find out. We got ounces. Oh, man. This is Karen's groceries. Let's uh, press. I I'm going to do the instructions on this one. Got to pack the two grocery bags so that both bags weigh the same. Pack carefully. Her customers will be thrown off balance. Uh, look for a blinking error on the screen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, groceries we need to pack. Okay, so we have to make two even bags out of that? Is what it is? Or... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to guess we're going to put the 5, the 3, and the 3 together, and then the 11 and 1. To pack an item in this bag, you will type its weight into the, one of those four spaces. Okay. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, let's let's check it out. It's a good thing I did check, because otherwise... Um, once I got here, I would have been not knowing that I needed to make these equal. Five, three, three. There are eight customers waiting at Farcical Pharmacy. But we gotta ser serve these guys first. Uh, they, uh, okay, let's see here. What's the best way to pack this together? I'm gonna say, uh, the f 14, the 5, and the 12, and the 7. Let's tear back in some groceries. Uh, this one is uh, this one. This one I can figure out pretty quickly. Do sixteen and nine in each. Uh, if I can type it correctly. Uh, okay. Do thirty-seven and one. And then we're going to do 21, 11, and 5. That's 37. Three more customers have come to the mall while we've been working. It is a little stressful to have that uh, constantly going up. And now we're doing five items. I'm going to hit escape. Let's uh, tend to the other customers. We've only got one customer waiting at this door. So there's no pressing risk of the grocery store over overflowing. Let's check out the donut store. They're getting there. They're getting up there. The pharmacy, pharmacy. We might have to, we might have to dip out of order to get the pharmacy. Although I'm not concerned because we can lose customers in five stores before it's game over. If uh, yesterday is any guide, where we decided to speed run advanced math shop, you can have up to fifty customers lost before you get game over. But who knows? Maybe the rules in math shop are different. We got to make some donuts here. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna read the instructions here. Alice's Palace of Donuts. That sounds that sounds wonderful. The donut shop has a donut making machine that bakes donuts, but the machine must be set differently for each order. You're hired to enter the right numbers. Okay. Look for a blinking arrow on the screen as you read the instructions that follow. Yeah. The order form shows the number of donuts of each type that the customer wants. You'll need to set the machine for this exact order. So they want. Oh, okay, so they want six plain, six glazed. So we for this one, I I would say we would make twelve donuts and glaze half of them. Is that right? I mean, this this kind of make this kind of makes sense. All right, this this is potentially a viable business. I, I'm I'm astounded. A realistic modeling of viable business here in Math Shop. That's six plain and six six glazed. Uh, we're gonna do eight donuts with half of them glazed. Get them four plain and four glazed. Uh, we're gonna do twenty seven donuts. And we're going to glaze, what, a third of them? That's 18 plain, 9 glaze. The customer thanks you. We're going to make 12 donuts, and we're going to glaze half of them to get 6 plain and 6 glazed. They want 24 donuts total. They want one third of them glazed in order to obtain 16 plain and six and 8 glazed donuts. Sorry. Uh, 8 donuts total. Half of them glazed. That's 4 plain and 4 glazed donuts. I don't know if we get a prestige in this one. Uh, we didn't have enough customers to find out if so. Because we're going to get kicked out of the store. We've served everybody. Let's go on to jewelry. Going from donut rings to rings. Let's check it out and see what's going on in the jewelry store. Weighing some gold, melting some gold. 
Could be anything. Heart of Gold Jewelers, okay. Got a crucible here. Uh, gold is sold. Customers order the exact number of ounces they need. No more, no less. Here's a golden opportunity for you. To seal gold or what? No, there are four sizes of gold bars in stock at all times. Your job is to choose two bars that, when melted together, will produce the right amount of gold for your customer. Okay, so we can only choose two. I'm guessing we can double. Um, it doesn't say anything about being able to double, but I would, I would, I would guess we can. I don't know. Maybe it just won't ask for weights that require doubling. Let's find out together. Let's start working at the gold store. It's time to serve the first customer. Let's do 1.4 and 2.4 ounces to get 3.8 ounces of gold. The customer thanks you. You're someone new. They want 4.5 ounces of gold. We're going to give them 2.1 and 2.4 ounces of gold to get 4.5 ounces of gold total. Uh, another 4.5 ounces of gold. You would think they would uh, set it so that it doesn't repeat the same question, but maybe not. Uh, we're going to do 1.4. 1.8 ounces of gold to obtain 3.2 ounces of gold. They want 3.9 ounces of gold. We're going to give them uh, 2.1 and 1.8 ounces of gold to give them 3.9 ounces of gold. That's all the customers. Let's see what we got next. I'm going to head on over to the health store. So we got what? Six customers? Pharmacy's stacking up. I don't know if it's going to overflow before we get to it. Do you want to try it first? Uh, maybe we'll do, do the top row in the opposite order. I mean, that's the way to do this. We got Oats and Bran here at the health store. Crunchy health foods. Let's check out the instructions. Uh, they're fussy eaters. They want special mixtures of breakfast, breakfast cereal. Okay. Uh, look for the blinking arrow on the screen. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, look here for the amounts of oats and bran to use. So they want 21 ounces of oats and uh, 15 ounces of bran. So I'm going to guess we're going to have to mul multiply. Okay. You'll have to use the pre-mixed boxes of cereal on hand. The label on the box shows how much of each grain is inside. Yep. Type in the number of boxes that you'll need to pour into the customer's bowl. So it would be three for this example. I'm gonna guess. Okay, we'll find out. Do three ounces, three boxes of each. Yep. Here's another customer. Uh, we're gonna do four. Do two. Do three. Uh, we're gonna do four. Oh, now we got two boxes. Two kinds of boxes. Oh, man. Let me escape. We only got one customer waiting, so we're good to go. Let's go up and uh, let's do the pharmacy first, you know. It's making me anxious having that many people in the pharmacy. I don't want to lose any customers. I'd be doing a bad job. Because if three customers came in, they could overflow the pharmacy. If they all went to the pharmacy. Here we are at first school Pharmacy. Serving up Anadol and Lysine to make... Maminolide? I don't know. Uh, customers bring in prescriptions for various types of medicine. You must fill each prescription by following the formula. Look for blinking arrows. Yep. Uh, here's the formula. Left uh, shows the name of the medicine and the amount needed. On the right side, you'll find a recipe that shows the ingredients and the percent of each ingredient in the medicine. So it would be like six ounces and fifty-four ounces. This one, this one might test me. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Let's get into it. It's time to serve the first customer. All right. Let's do. Let's try it out. Six ounces. 
and then um, 54 ounces. Is it right? Is that... That looks like it to me. Let's hit space. Oh, we're getting uh, different amounts for everything, so it's going to be uh, 12 ounces. Wait. Not what I was trying to... I was trying 12 ounces. With uh, 78 ounces. Wait, no, that would give me... 82. This is going to get 60. I'm, I'm trying to type the right numbers here. I promise you. 68 ounces. There we go. We got there eventually. We got there 80 ounces of Elimidrol or whatever it was. We got to make 120 ounces of S as Minitril here. Uh, so that's going to be, what, 36? And if I could type correctly, it would it would help. Five new customers have come into the mall. Okay. Uh, there's 120 ounces of Asminitril, I believe. All right, this one uh, is eight. Uh, <laughs> Once again, I can't type. Uh, <laughs> 72. That's 80 ounces of papillodine. I think these are all made up. Sumetalide. Uh, I'm going to hit escape. Because I'm done with the store. I'm done working at the pharmacy. We've cleared it out enough. We got all these new customers coming in. Who knows? The repair store could be overloaded now. Let's check out the repair store. And then we'll do number lumber. Do some number lumber here in Math Shop. We got a working machine and a broken machine, it looks like. Check us out for a repair store. We got a CompuData ZJ. Let's uh, hit instructions. Customers bring in broken computers. You fix them. To do a good job, you'll need to study the working computers to figure out what makes them tick. The computers take the numbers on the left, the inputs, and perform a specific operation on each of them. The results are the numbers on the right, outputs. Look on the screen for a blinking arrow. Yep, mm hmm The number one is an input. Okay. That becomes four. So it's multiplying by four here. Okay, so yeah, okay, so we've got to fill in the multiplier. Okay. This is, this is starting to make sense. So we only have to fill in that one number. Okay. Let's start working at the Fixins repair shop. It's time to serve the first customer. Let's uh, do four. Space. Keep it the good work. Let's do three. Uh, let's do five. Let's do two. Let's do five. From now on, you'll be working with multiplication and addition. Okay. Uh, I think we can do... Eight plus two, is that right? Nope. <laughs> there we go. We got there. I don't like that, so I'm going to escape. And leave one customer waiting in the store. To fix their microdata ZE. Oh, the machines are changing, that's nice. That's nice. But let's check out number. Check out the number store. I'm excited. Gotta find out what's going on at the number store. Requirements for number. Got customer requirements here. Oh, yeah, I love going down to the number store and giving them a riddle. Your job is to help customers choose a number that meets their requirements. You've got uh, their number, but it may take a little f figuring to find it. Okay. So, for example, it would be 10 here. Look at this. Let's find out.
Oh, once again, not catching my typing. We'll do, we'll, we'll accept that. Let's find out. Yep. Uh, let's see. It's even. I mean, <laughs> there's all sorts of. Oh, so if it, if it matches multiple, then it's a factor of 175. I'm going to hit escape here. Check out the lumber store. Cut wood so that one piece is three foot longer than the other piece, okay? World of lumber, yeah. Customers demand precise cutting. Each board has to be cut into two pieces. You must figure out the proper length for each piece. Okay, so they got 15 feet of wood. They want one piece three feet longer than the other piece. Alright, I guess we're going to start working at the, the world of lumber. It's not going to, so it would be what? Nine and six? That's it. But I think I'm going to quit working at the lumber store. Go back to the mall. Because I think that's going to do it here for me with uh, Math Shop for Walls a Day. And if you like edutainment games for the up to like this, then go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for next Walls a Day.